Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this very very exciting video of exponential equations, we will be solving today one very interesting and tricky exponential equation 1 plus i raised to the power x equal to x power 2i. If you will see the base and the exponent, then there is one relationship. Let's derive it. I will write the base that is 1 plus i. I am going to consider this 1 plus i as square root of 1 plus i whole square. Okay, now I will expand this. I will write 1 a plus b whole square a square plus b square plus twice ab. Now we know that i is a square root of negative 1. So obviously i square will be negative 1. I will put this value here. So it will become square root of 1 minus 1 plus 2i. So ultimately it is coming out square root of 2i. And see there is your exponent which is 2i. So let me write this one in the equation. So I will write square root of 2i whole power x equal to x power 2i. Done. Now 2i square root. So I will write 2i raised to the power 1 by 2 raised to the power x. Now one strong property of exponentials we will use that is a power b whole power c can be written as a power b times c. Okay. Let's take the product in the exponent. So I will write 2i power will be x by 2. So let me write in the bracket. We will multiply these two okay, as per the given exponential property. So right hand side is unchanged as it is x power 2i. Now if you want to derive one expression or one left hand side and right hand side, you want to simplify, you can go for or otherwise directly we can take log. That would be much much better. So let's consider log both sides. I will write ln 2i raised to the power x by 2 equal to ln x power 2i. Now second property ln a power b that would be equal to b ln a we will use. This power come down as a multiplier. So I will write left hand side as x by 2 ln 2i and RHS will be 2i ln x. Now collect all the respective terms variable at one side. Constant or consideration of complex number terms would be another side. So I will write ln x over x equal to ln 2i over 4i. Let me write here ln x over x equal to ln 2i over 4i. Okay. Now I can write this 4i. So I can multiply numerator denominator by i. Let me show you here. 1 over i. How I can write? I can write this one as minus i square. i square is minus 1 over i. Or multiplying numerator denominator by simply i. You will get the same result. So this will give us minus 1 over i. Cancel this one. Minus i. So I can write this one as minus i ln 2i over 4. Simple. Now we can think about lambda w function or if you want to simplify further more, we can simplify this one. Let me show you how it would be ln 2i. Let me consider 4i. We will divide at last. Now ln 2i ln a b ln a plus ln b so i will write ln 2 plus ln i divided by 4i okay now i will write ln 2 as it is ln i using euler's identity this would be cos theta plus i sin theta so i can be written as if i wa want i only so e raised to the power 
i pi by 2 you can see cos pi by 2 plus i sin pi by 2 in place of theta we will write pi by 2 now you can see cos 90 is 0 sin 90 is 1 so this value is i so in place of ln i i will write ln e raised to the power i pi over 2 divided by 4 i okay so finally ln e raised to the power i pi by 2 that would be i pi over 2 divided by 4 i now you want to split you can split from here this is our simplified form of rhs okay so what i am going to write i will use the exponent property i will write x as e raised to the power ln x and that e raised to the power ln x i will take in the numerator so i will write e raised to the power minus ln x times ln x equal to minus i ln 2i over 4. Now I am going to multiply both sides with minus sign. I will multiply. See how it is. I will write here minus sign. Why I am doing this? If I will multiply this side also with minus, so this will become plus. Okay. Let me write minus here. Minus 1. Why I am doing this? To apply lambda w, the fundamental property, which states that if x and e raised to the power x is in product and we are taking lambda function both sides, then it will give us x straight away. So, if I will take lambda w to LHS and RHS, then using this property, let me take lambda w function lambda w. So, I will write minus ln x in the left and right hand side we will have lambda w of i ln 2i over 4. Okay. Minus times minus becomes plus lambda w of. Now, ln x I will write minus lambda w function of i ln 2i divided by 4 x will be equal to e raised to the power minus lambda w function i ln 2i divided by 4. You will have infinite number of solutions. But if you will put the value in the Wolfram alpha tool, you will be having x as out of infinite values. I am writing only 1. 1.288 minus i times 0 0.7036. Okay, if I will put in, in place of theta, see this theta, if I will put in place of theta, we can write theta plus 2k pi. So, we will have infinite number of solutions. See this tool, Wolfram Alpha. From this tool, you can put the value, you can collect that one complex value. In the polar form, Cartesian form, this is polar form, you can collect your answer. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Take care.